class, this video is about the body ritual of the Nasarima. Um, be aware if you're watching this on the internet and you haven't read the article yet, that there's spoiler alert. All right, I've given you enough opportunity to stop the video if you don't want the end to be spoiled for you. For those of you who are in my class, though, and you've already done this assignment, now is the time where I blow your mind. Or not. Some of you already knew what was going on. So, first and foremost, who are the Nasarima, this crazy group of people? Well, if you spell Nasarima backwards... It spells out American, and this article has been around for many, many years. It was written by an anthropologist as a means of letting other anthropologists know that they need to be very careful about how they speak of other cultures. Because when you talk about other cultures in a way that makes them seem as an other and makes their practices seem crazy, the people reading the article tend to think bad things about that particular group, yeah? Furthermore, for those of you who didn't realize it was talking about the American culture, and the first time I read it, I didn't either, because I am also bad at geography. In that first paragraph, it tells you that the Nasarima reside between Canada and Mexico. Yeah? So, I want you to go ahead and read over the article again, and you'll notice that the words that were being used to describe the doctor, the dentist, your daily toothbrushing ritual... Um, are all things that I'm sure all of you do. You might not put your head in an oven unless you get your hair dyed at the salon. Yeah? <laughs> so uh, why did I assign this? Well, to trick you, I wanted you to, um, for those of you who had didn't already know the trick, right? I wanted you to read about a culture that was written in a way that was very othering, and I wanted to see how you would... Uh, how you would digest that information. Would you want to raise your kids there, right? Um, and the thing is, you already are raising your kids in this culture. Some of you had difficulty with um, how they called the magic men or how they relied on magic, right? So a lot of times when people talked about othering cultures that utilized a religious practice or belief system that was different from theirs, they would make it seem as if they had these illogical belief systems. But every society has worldviews, right? As you will have read in the Understanding America Worldview. And their worldviews don't necessarily um, match up with each other. And it is our duty to... Try to understand other cultures within the context of their reality. Furthermore, as we study sociology, we'll be studying societies and social groups. So you need to try to overcome your ethnocentrism when learning about different cultures and different belief systems uh, when studying societies. Body ritual of the Nasarima. You just read about Americans' body rituals, which is like hair dyeing, teeth brushing, doctor visiting, aspirin taking people.